Hello everybody, it's Michael from GetFitOver40.com. I'm out on my deck here. I was talking about using these speakers on the deck in my last video. These are the Kinevo, 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 I'm not sure, but I'm going to call them Kinevo speakers. And uh, I did do a review of some Kinevo head headphones, so I'll put a link in there for those Bluetooth headphones that I did a review of that I really enjoy. I'm using them to this day. I'm actually using them, I prefer them over my Motorola headphones that I've also reviewed just because they're just more comfortable to wear and I don't have the problem with the little ear things falling out and just not fitting right. They just work, they sound good, they're comfortable, they're lightweight, so I've been using those during my workouts and enjoying them. And so um, I approached uh, Kinevo again and asked them about these guys and they sent them to me graciously. And um, these are the M2 Bluetooth speakers. Here's the box, I'll, I'll bring this out in a second. But they're basically, it's a six and a half inch sub with two and a half inch satellites. And uh, I'll talk about the specs. I believe it's like a 54 watt system. Yeah, 56 watt system. So you have 14 watts going to the drivers here and 28 watts going to the sub, which if you know um, much about audio, you generally don't need nearly as much power for mid range and highs. You need the power, the amperage, the watts for the sub. And so that's where most of the power goes to. That makes sense. Um, so let's get into some of the specifications. I'll just actually read it off the box here. I'll just show you this quickly. Here's the, uh, I'll show you around the box first. You've got that side and I'll talk about the specifications. Got your picture here, just a little picture of them. Bluetooth speakers, Kinevo. Uh, here we have some like features, basically Bluetooth speaker features. Premium acoustics, so three-way system, two, two and a half inch full range drivers and big subwoofer for true sound and deep bass wooden cabinet so it's a wood cabinet probably a particle board I would imagine uh, big six and a half inch subwoofer generates powerful bass supports NFC pairing so that's something that isn't uh, it isn't an iPhone um, feature so I can't really tell you about that too much I haven't used NFC pairing but um, it does support that it's just a different way to pair the device it's sort of a smart pairing a little easier than pairing with Bluetooth although Bluetooth pairing is not difficult um, compatible with smartphones, tablets, supports Bluetooth, A2DP protocol. All right, other than basically that's it. These guys don't weigh a whole lot. Let's get into the, some of the specs. I'll just read it off. So again, 14 watts split into two drivers. So I guess that would be seven watts a side. Imagine 28 watt subwoofer. Uh, it basically runs off 120 volts, your typical um, power rating, right? You're not going to run these off batteries. You're going to run them off your 120 volts. So you've got to have a plug in. Again, two and a half inch drivers, six and a half inch subwoofer. Uh, satellite, the satellite frequency range is 250 hertz to 20K. So that's pretty normal. Like um, 250 does not get down into the low frequency. So on their own, with the bass cut off, they're not going to be bassy at all. They don't support the bass. The bass is basically going through your subwoofer, which is 30 hertz to 100 kilohertz. So that's interesting because there's actually a little bit of a, of a missing area here. If this is true, if, if the base only goes up to 100, then it's missing 100 to 250. So, but it doesn't sound like it's missing much down there too much. Um, sound, they sound pretty good. They sound fairly full range. Signal to noise ratio is 70 dB. Separation is 40 dB. Don't ask. I don't really even know what that is. And I used to be an audio guy. I'm not really. Signal to noise ratio is just how much noise there is. If you were to crank it up and not have any audio, you'd hear like a little bit of noise in the background. That would be like the signal to noise ratio. And better signal to noise ratio means that um, there's less background noise. The satellites again, uh, the dimensions, well, they're about five and a half inches by 5.4 by 5.2. The subwoofer is 8.6 by 9.5 by 9.0. And the whole system weighs 7.7 .7 pounds. So they're pretty lightweight, all right? Now you do get the manual in the box. I'm not going to show you around this too much, but you do get a manual, shows you how to you know, get things going, talks about the NFC pairing in here. I didn't even know that, but this little logo on the top, if you can see that, that's the NFC uh, pairing logo. That has nothing to do with Kinevo or anyone like that. That's, that's a pairing thing. Now I'm stuck on something here. Okay. All right, so let's just show you a little bit around the speakers. If I can move these without... You have your volume here and it's lit up so that it's got like a backlight in it 
You're not going to be able to see this too much because I'm all plugged in. But um, we have, basically, you've got your treble control here. You've got your bass control here. You've got your audio input, which I'm going to demonstrate that later, your audio out. So this would be go to this would go to your speakers, your satellites, the audio out. You've got your power, your cord. You have your source button here for whether you want Bluetooth or line in. And then you also have your pairing button for when you want to pair Bluetooth. So pretty straightforward. Let's get this back down. I'll be playing around back there a little bit when I demonstrate them. Uh, before I show them or let you hear them, although you're only going to hear them through, through my camera microphone, so you're not really hearing the sound. You really need to actually listen to these guys to appreciate them. But the sound quality is pretty good. They've got lots of volume. There's no problem with the volume. They have a lot of bass. Um, they have a lot of treble. There's, there's a pretty nice treble. They've definitely got the mid-range. Um, in terms of being super flat, like being um, studio monitors, they're definitely not studio monitors. They have that sort of bass hump and high hump, a little bit, a little bit less mid-range. Um, it's not a super smooth mid-range. Um, not as not as smooth as the headphones I reviewed, the, the Kinevo headphones, but still great sounding. I mean, for like your your gym situation, your computer audio, if you want to use them for a home entertainment system or multimedia system, if you want to put them outside on your pool, like in your deck, your backyard, there's a lot of them. I got a big area here, and I got a, you can't see it, but there's a pool behind me. And it's a big area, and I had these like not even cranked, and I was hearing them perfectly, even over top of me doing all sorts of other things, making noise out there. I could still hear them just perfectly fine. So I do have them paired to my iPhone right now, and we're just going to play a little now. I'm not going to play too much of each song because YouTube will they'll stick me with copyright violation if I play anything too long. So I'll just play a little tidbits real quick so YouTube doesn't snag me. So I got some JT here, I'll just cycle through it. Uh, you can adjust your volume obviously on your on your device through Bluetooth. So it's like a remote control. So that's kind of nice, right? So I'm gonna just plug them in now. I plugged them in to uh, the line in and I couldn't tell any difference in sound quality between Bluetooth and line in. So we're just gonna switch it on the back, to line in. Now I'm using line in. See, line in. So, really easy to use. I mean, you can either go one, one or the other line in, or I prefer Bluetooth just because, right? Why not? Why not use Bluetooth? Why not use Bluetooth? Because, I mean, obviously, you don't have to be plugged in. You can be walking around. I noticed the range is pretty good, but not quite as good as my headphones. I can get like 40 to 50 feet away from my headphones, from my iPhone with my headphones on. I'd say I can get about 30 feet away. With, it, with these guys, so uh, maybe because it's housed inside a unit, I'm not sure, but the headphones that I have, the um, Kinevo headphones, definitely have more range, which I think is kind of good, because you can have your iPhone in your gym bag and wander around the gym a little bit without getting, you know, without cutting out. So you're probably gonna have your iPhone maybe plugged into a charger somewhere close by. You're not gonna probably be walking too far away from this. You just wanna be able to put your iPhone down, change your song or whatnot. I don't think I've missed anything. Hopefully not. Um, Price-wise, they're $69, I believe, through Amazon and through uh, Kinevo's website. You know, they might go up and down a little bit. Depends on uh, what the price is on whatever's websites and not whatnot. But I'll put a link in the description of this this video and and also to the post that I put on my website. I'll put some links in there, so there'll be a link to my post on my website that'll, that'll have links to buy this as well on Amazon. Helps me out a little bit. I'll also put a link in the description to this YouTube video. And check out my, uh, I can't remember the exact name of the headphones, but I'll put links into there. Check out the headphone review I did. I was really impressed with the Kinevo headphones as well. So thanks again for watching another GetFitOver40.com video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Until next time, take care.